Hi guys, so we're back for another video and today we're going to be doing the perm rod set on my hair. So this is where the method we used in my first video comes in very handy. So as you section your hair, um, when you come to make a section for, uh, for you to put into a roller, what you're going to do is separate them into two. You're going to twist those strands together, um, a little, probably about three or four twists. And then what you're going to do is then you're going to comb the ends of your hair and then you are going to get a roller and you're going to put your hair onto it. When placing your hair onto the rod, make sure to smooth the ends around the rod to make sure that your ends do not stick out or stray, otherwise this will affect the end look. As I got to the front, I started to do some flat twists, which is where you take two strands of hair and you make sure they're combed well and then you're going to add another strand in as you keep going down and then as you can see in the video here I'm coming through the ends as I finished where I was twisting then I'm just going to roll the hair back up the rod making sure to smooth those ends onto the rod If anyone has any like good recommendations for any hair products for afro hair then I am all game for trying them. Just leave um, a comment in the comment box for me please. Thank you. Alright so it didn't take me too long to do this. Now I'm going to sleep. Night! Yay morning! I'm awake. <laughs> Time to take them out. At any point I look really disappointed with my hair. I'm, I'm not so much disappointed, I put far too much product in, which is something that next time I, I will probably put less product in, but obviously you're all on this journey with me, so thank you for coming with me. of this clip I put some oil on my hands that's basically so that when I take my hair out of the rods I can smooth down the ends um, just so I don't make my hair frizzy really So in the morning before making this video, I washed and conditioned my hair and I did the lock method on it. Let my hair naturally dry for a few hours and I wanted to leave it damp so that when I put the rods in and more hair oil, then it would just be easier to work with and comb it all through which was perfect because obviously I let it dry before I went to sleep and then it was drying while I was sleeping and I took it out first thing in the morning. As I was taking my hair out of the rollers, what I would do is I would untwist from the bottom and then as I worked my way up, once I had untwisted it all, I would then separate those twists separately and then I would curl them around my finger. Thank you. 
I did find this hairstyle left my hair feeling super bouncy and I couldn't help but shake my hair all the time and it just bounced as I walked. I really love it. When I finished taking my hair out, I ran my fingers gently through my hair to separate any curls that are still stuck together and then I just shushed it up and I put it into how I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. Hi guys! Right, so I am back. I finished my hair and I've puffed it out and I've styled it out. So today I've gone for a slight clip back. Ooh la la! <laughs> so you can see these curls here. Oh, I love this one. It's my favourite. Um, so yeah. Overall, with the technique I've done today, I'm very happy. There are some things I would change about um, the way I've done it. I would say I would use more rollers and I would also use less product because I put far too much in and the back of my head, I feel like I put double the amount in. <laughs> so it's like, I found that it didn't really hold the curl, but it was still, the curl was there. It was just when I was taking it out, it just, didn't look as good but since I have um, just wore it for the rest of the day basically it's just curled up so I think it's just a case of less product but it still knows what it's doing because this is like the ones that I thought weren't going very well but as you can see it's actually really curly so basically the appearances are sometimes deceiving and I'm actually very happy with how it turned out so I shall be back next week for the new video um, I might do my daughter's hair again because that's always a good fun one so I shall see you next week bye